For the first time in two years, Baltimore City Hall is open to the public. Right now, the city is getting ready to hold its first in-person city council meeting since the pandemic began. Let's go to WMAR 2 News. Ray Strickland joining us live from City Hall. Ray, we understand there are still some restrictions in place despite being open, right? Yes, Jamie, that's right. Visitors are going to be required to wear a mask in the council chambers, and there will also be a health check-in before you're allowed to go inside. But nonetheless, the reopening of City Hall is just the latest sign that we are slowly but surely getting back to normal. This day, you know, has been a long time coming. City Hall has been closed for the past two years because of COVID-19, and that frustrated many people over at least the past year. Not being able to directly speak with council Council members over issues like gun violence was a major concern. Not to mention, while City Hall was closed, many other government buildings were open. Mayor Scott had said on record many times due to the age of the building, City Hall couldn't provide proper social distancing. But now, due to encouraging virus numbers, officials believe City Hall can safely reopen. Now, the City Council meeting that is about to begin any minute will be in person and virtual. One of the noteworthy items. Uh, on tonight's agenda is a bill to rename Robert E. Lee Park, who was a Confederate general. We will be following that bill and more from tonight's city council meeting during our newscast coming up later tonight at 11 o'clock. But for now, reporting live at Baltimore City Hall, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News.